So we, here we have a hat that has been blocked on this simple foam block. Uh, so it's got no creases or shapes in it. But I'm going to style it and just show how you can turn it into whatever hat you want really. So take that off there, it's a foam block. I've made a few hats on that now, it's still going strong. Um, this is actually filtered from white alpaca and I have then uh, dyed it black as you can see. So I've actually felt of the hat while it was white. Once I finished it, trimmed off any excess because there's no point in dyeing stuff you're going to throw away. Uh, and then I have dyed it and simmered it and then put it back on the block uh, and got it to the shape. So I have then, um, I have sprayed it with shellac. Um, before that I put the sweatband in. Um, then shellacked it, then put the bias band binding around the edge. So there we have a simple hat, no shape in it, but it has got some shellac in it. So uh, I'm just going to show you really how you can shape it. So I will fedora this, is my plan. So we put steam. And the beauty of the shellac is that you can shape it, if you don't like it, you can unshape it. So, it's just a matter of getting it, there is no one fedora shape, it's a bit of a general term, isn't it, really? So, so this is something that you might develop but you can just tweak it to whatever your idea of a fedora is. And I've got my friend here, um, and to be honest, I do this bit on my head is how I've done it before. But to get the little the bump in here, look at me when I'm talking to you. So this is actually much easier, if a little strange to do on your head, if you don't mind getting shellacked hair that is. But you get the idea. So the shellac, and I know you can't you have to take my word for it, but it still feels soft, it looks like felt, it feels like felt, and um, by golly it is felt. But it kind of becomes sort of a thermo, thermo felt, because uh, you can shape it, and once you've shaped it, it it sets and stays in the shape that you put it in. So I can perhaps have a bit more work on it, but it's kind of fedora-ish. Uh, and again with the shellac, because I put the I'll do that without the steam noise, because I put the um, the bias banding around the edge. Now I know people always talk about snap rims, but because you put that the bias binding round a little bit snug, uh, and it kind of gives you that snap rim uh, effect really. So I just give it a bit steam. My glasses are now steamed up, so I have no idea what's going on. So, wherever we put this brim now, again this is something you'll do 
up stand and pose in front of the mirror as you shape it. But you shape this to your, again, your favoured brim shape. This brim is about three inches wide on this one. So it could be wider, could be narrower. My wife will shout at me for using the iron anywhere near shellac. It will make your iron and your ironing board a little sticky. So do be careful of that. But I'm not actually touching the the iron on there, honest. But if you do iron on here with any shellac about, you want to iron the brim or anything, then put a cloth down first. So, how's that look? So the next move on this hat, uh, it needs a hat band putting on here. Might give it a bit of a shave. Um, but other than that, I think that would pass muster. So I will model this for you shortly. So, just for that final bit of shaping, um, I'm going to give it a quick steam. Sensible people won't do this, however, you want the ultimate in custom hat fitting. You try to find something that's the same shape as your head to shape this on, then your head is actually the same shape as your head. So, I think that's pretty fedora ish, so it could perhaps do with a bit of a a bit of a, a bit of a, a, tr a shave or a going over with the clippers takes some of these furry bits off, um, but I think that will make a respectable dog walking hat when it's finished. <laughs> I'm totally on cue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on then. Gilbert, what's the matter? 